Hello my friends, my family, and my followers. It's Hike360 here. I'm here to give you a new hike this week. We are here at Grand Kankakee Marsh County Park. Uh, we're here to do like a 7.1 mile hike. It takes us along the Kankakee River and then a little bit offshore back. Uh, it's a double loop. And yeah, so this place is very common for fishing. There's people already out here fishing. Uh, he mentioned that you know you can catch a variety of different uh, fish, small amount, uh, small mouth and large mouth bass and pickerel and some other fish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's that. A couple different uh, water like drainage pipes that we're gonna pass that are apparently noteworthy. And yeah, we're just, uh, we're here along the uh, Kankakee River. So really getting a feel for it. That's all I know. Can I add on? Yeah. All right. So we just pulled in, there's two parking lots here. We pulled um, at the smaller parking lot, but the, the bridge here that we're standing on, this is the end of the hike. The hike actually, we were gonna start, we're gonna walk down the highway a little bit farther to the main Kankakee River. This is kind of outflow where we're going to finish. So we'll finish around here and come over the bridge and go back to the parking lot. Um, hey, look at that. Good biking crew. Yeah. Well, that is a good biking crew. So um, don't get confused. Don't cross the bridge at the beginning. You actually go down the highway farther. The other thing is this part of the Kankakee River is straight. It's been canaled and dug and manipulated like oh, a yeah. hundred years ago. And the author says, you know, just classic stuff. They did all that work to manipulate the river to gain more farming land and none of the crops grew. It's worthless farming land. It's, as he said in the book, it's too wet. Ca yeah, it catches fire in the summer and is uh, drowns, floods in the drowns in the winter. Or in the flooding seasons, <laughs> yeah. yeah, in the rain. So that was all for naught. Good job. Um, good job, humanity. Come on now. Um, so, you know, in Switzerland, like, all those rivers have been manipulated. And in the last 10 years, they're starting to do their best to try to return some of them to more of a natural. They're not going to take the straightness out, but they're trying to do their best to oxygenate um, the water more and to make it more more uh, shady areas, more uh, areas for fish and, and other types of sea creatures to um, live better anyway. Yeah, sure. Uh, but this, this I think that we're going to be walking along is about as human touched as we're going to get. Uh -huh. um, but it is interesting, this is the fourth touch of the Kankakee River that's within the book. I just want to mention they, they shortened the river from 205 miles to 85 miles. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Um, and it's certainly much easier to navigate as a river, but I, I don't know that the Kankakee River is much of a nav navigation source. When they straighten it out, I'm not sure the rivers are being used for that much at that time. It's certainly not big enough for barges like the Illinois River, so. <laughs> no. um, uh, but I do like the fact that this is the fourth touch. So we're in Indiana, the Kankakee River starts kind of by South Bend and works its way over here. We're just off of Highway 65 and kind of halfway between Gary and Lafayette. This is definitely a long way away from Chicago. Yeah, second furthest. Yeah, um, so I'm hoping it's good, and uh, we'll probably, you know, really look at the the touch between human and nature. So, mm -hmm. seven and a half miles. Let's get it done.